Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Bad. Today we're smoking a very special cigar, another boutique brand, the Hank Maori Haka Gaudini. <laughs> That's a hell of a name. Let's see what's behind that and if the cigar tastes as good as the box looks. So guys, the Gaudini, I will call the chore just Gaudini, uh, but uh, we will go into the naming and everything uh, later on. What I can tell you up front that uh, you can see it engraved, Hank, uh, they are usually doing um, high-end suitcases, bags, all that kind of stuff. Very good looking shit, really. Uh, I didn't know it until couple of days ago where I found uh, this cigar it was really a coincidence uh, but it kind of catched my attention you know by the way they they are presenting it so I thought give it a try so I ordered that five box uh, of the Gaudini and it's a solid case and here you have a little opening and then you have the five cigars in there Take a look. The Gaudini is a short Robusto. In cellophane, of course. And it's a short Robusto. What is really nice is they have no band, but they engraved the logo with a laser. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus, that fucked up camera is going on my nerves because it's not giving me the focus when I want to have it. <laughs> ah, here we go. Uh, here is the, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, it's not very, it's not very obvious, but when you're looking real closely at it, you can see it it's just a bit um, brighter uh, than the rest of the wrapper. Uh, I think that's a that's a pretty cool idea. Um, before we're going to start that little uh, critter here, uh, let let me give you a few numbers and facts. As I said, it's a short robusto, and it has a ring gauge of fifty five, and is three and a half inches long you know I think the focus is because of the surrounding light here I'm doing it in my mini lounge I'm, but also it's looking kind of bright uh, it's very dark outside also it's just uh, in the early afternoon so I guess my camera has some problems here with the light however we don't take care about this right now <sighs> oh the smell is good have something mm, nutty nutty sweet something like this Let's see what a cold was giving us it has this little uh, really little pigtail looking sweet no cut was nice Mm. The nuts also in the cold tour. Maybe a little bit of pepper. Tour seems to be very good. 80, 18 euros per stick for a short Robusto. Jesus Christ. That's, that's quite a price. Uh, it's coming in this uh, Fiverr boxes and you can also uh, uh, a refill box and uh, let me check the notes 
uh, and in these refill boxes there are 10 cigars. It is limited to only 500 boxes of the five pieces and they have 250 more of these refill boxes, so really limited. Um, let's see how it tastes, maybe uh, we buy a little bit more. Uh, so this Gaudini is a Puro Nicaragua, means wrapper, binder, filler, all coming from Nicaragua. Um, and that was one of the quality criteria that this uh, Hank guy, I'm looking up his name in a few minutes, um, uh, was, was that. wanted to create a special kind of cigar and it is said um, that he's like for 40 years now he's smoking cigars and is an aficionado and so on uh, and uh, like a lot of other uh, rich boys we know they want to create their own uh, cigar line and here we go with the Hank uh, Maori Haka um, One of his friends, uh, let me look up his name. Jesus Christ, it makes no sense. Uh, <laughs> Heiko Pertz, P O E R C. Sounds Swiss, maybe also German. Ah, really, I don't know. Uh, okay, so Heiko Pertz, mm, the founder of Hank, and as I said, they're doing suitcases and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, he was kind of maintaining a friendship with uh, Didier Hoevenagel and AJ Fernandez. AJ Fernandez, we all know him, like he's making cigars all over the place. Uh, Didier Hoevenagel is also more into the boutique cigar uh, thing. Uh, I think we was talking very briefly in somewhere last year. <laughs> mm. So they were together, they were trying to create the cigar, you know, and we know H.F. Fernandez, uh, Mr. Master Plander himself, mm. and Didier Hoevenagel who is like an agricultural scientist thing, dude. <laughs> uh, so we're, they are creating the cigar. And if you were taking a close look at the logo uh, I showed you, that's looking like it's coming from, you know, Maori makes sense. That's this, uh, the name of the, the people, the culture. Um, They are home like in, okay, before I'm talking shit here, I know nothing about Maori. <laughs> I know, in my mind is, is flowing something around like Papua New Guinea, somewhere this area, Southeast Asia, but Jesus Christ, I don't know. I could have looked it up, you know, that would be, uh, then I would look a little bit smarter, but really I don't care. Um, but what, ah, guys, now I know. Uh, Maori close to New Zealand and stuff because that haka we remember that's this uh, that's this tribal dance the, uh, the rugby the New Zealand rugby team not invented but performing um, that's their ritual dance they are doing you know um, so here's the story Maori um, so the logo was created especially for Hank um, and the story behind that, and you know it's always about stories. If you if you want to sell a, a cigar, you need a fucking story in order to sell it, you know. And man, I'm telling you, uh, here, uh, Heiko whatever, uh, Perth, <laughs> uh, was coming up with a pretty good story, actually. Mm. Because I was looking up on his website and it's looking top-notch, really. 
and they're coming along with a with a PDF with a document that is telling you everything about the cigar. And I thought, man, great, everything is in there. You know, ring gauge size, tobacco, where is it coming from, where we are going to, blah blah blah, all that shit. And man, I'm guys, I'm telling you, uh, if you are yourself into the reviewing game, you know how often you spending like hours looking up shit and you can't find it nowhere. You're looking here and you're looking there. And here we go, man. He's just creating the fucking PDF and it's looking awesome. And all the information you need are in there. So thumbs up, man. That's really looking just fucking great. <laughs> I have to say that, man. So, um, here's the story. They were putting cigars together, right? And then they're on this little island, just like, I don't know, like 50 miles uh, south of Singapore or north. Doesn't matter really. So, um, Heiko Pertz, Mr. Hank himself, um, were sitting together with DJ Hoevenagel and trying the cigars. And they have another friend and he's in Maori. And um, so they kind of, he had a very nice way describing it. I was looking at the sunset and then the sun was shining on the skin of my friend. And then I saw, Jesus Christ, you know, it's a story. So, but it's a good idea. So they created the logo uh, and it has a special meaning because we know as well as the tattoos, uh, the Maori have, um, there are symbols, line and tribals. Uh, they have a spe specific meaning. So um, they created the logo and the logo was created by, they saying the best Maori tattoo artist. Okay, a tattoo artist. And he created the logo and that means happiness, success and power. All right. And the name makes sense. Uh, Hank Maori, so Hank, the name of the guy. Uh, Maori uh, and Hakka. So you have the Maori culture, you have the power of the Hakka and everything together was created the cigar line. <laughs> Good smoke. Good smoke. I'm not a big fan of short Robustos but remember the last short Robusto I had that was that True Estate um, Liga Unico Bauhaus. And that man was also blowing me away. It was a fantastic cigar. So, another one that in the start is fantastic, really. Effortless Straw. Um, <sighs> weren't I rant ranting enough about my f focus? Uh, Jesus Christ. You know, when I'm doing it old school like this. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. Burn is looking good. Ash is good. Um, can't complain. I would say let's smoke it for a while. And let's see how it develops.
So guys, the Hank Maori Gaudini. Here we go again. Mm. Isn't that looking nice? Burn, fucking razor sharp. Ash, very solid, good looking. That's that's really that's how a cigar should look like. And it developed nicely. Remember, I was talking about the nuts that I had in the first third, still there. Also, uh, it like that flavor was pulled back a little bit and instead of the nut flavor uh, we now have a little bit more of uh, pepper I don't want to say it's a pepper bomb but pepperish definitely uh, but to an amount where I personally say I like it so it's not like overwhelming and there is something sweet lingering around uh, that is bringing the cigar to very complex smoke. It's great, really great. Guys, I was looking through the uh, Hank website a little bit while I was smoking. Do they have a suitcase that costs like 28,000 euros? <laughs> Holy shit, that is kind of expensive, <laughs> all right. Uh, and they they have their uh, Hank Maori uh, humidor, and you know what? If you were watching my humidor tour, I was telling you that my uh, humidor is made by Marc Andre, and uh, the Hank Maori humidor is also made by Marc Andre. Great, but the humidor costs like almost nine thousand euros, uh, and it's for uh, you know it's like a table humidor, a big one, but Jesus Christ. They have, other than the Gaudini, and by the way, Gaudini may, may mean something like having fun. Uh, and in German, we have a saying that goes like, das ist ne Gaudi. And it means like something, that is a Gaudi. So, and Gaudi means, uh, oh, that's fun. So, here I see the connection. Uh, they have uh, one, two, three, four more um, Vitolas. We have here the Gaudini, they have the Willy, the Gaudi, the Masterpiece, and the La Donna. Uh, the Gaudini is the smallest one with a short boost too. I'm telling you right now, guys, I will probably try the others too. Because this little stick here, it's a fucking great cigar, really. I would go so far to say that's one of the best cigars I smoked this year. Really, no shitting guys, you know, uh, I don't care about any other ratings, price, whatever, you know, if it's a good, a good cigar, it's a good cigar, if it's a bad cigar, it's a bad cigar. Remember the, uh, the Roy de Monterey, uh, Year of the Ox, where the box was like uh, uh, 1000 euros, it was a disaster, you know, and I was telling you it's a disaster, it doesn't matter if it's like costing a fortune or not. If you if you if you're releasing shit, you're releasing shit, you know, and I will I will call it that way. But here, I don't know what to say, guys. Perfect construction, and that reflects the the burn, the ash, the draw. It's just on point, really on point. The complexity of the cigar is great. Um, started with that with that nut flavor. Transition to pepper. Now we have a little bit more sweetness, maybe chocolate or vanilla, I'm not sure. But there is a very subtle sweetness that is that is going on here. Um, just a good cigar, guys, really. And I would, I would say probably the others are as good as this one. Um, I would assume, but I will definitely check it out, you know. Maybe in one of the next night I'll also... I will try a few others uh, and now that's the second boutique cigar that was like great you know uh, we were doing a night owl with the um, El Septimo New York and it was that Puro uh, Costa Rica cigar it was great you know 
and now we have this boutique cigar and that one is great too so uh, I see uh, I, I see a pattern <laughs> maybe that's the year of the boutique cigars Shout out to my friend Daniel Ravinelli who's doing every week a uh, boutique day. Um, is it a boutique smoke Sunday or Wednesday or Thursday? I can't remember. But every week he's taking care of boutique cigars. So great man. Great. Um, so if you get a chance guys. Uh, they are not so widely available. Uh, but on the on the website I found there are a couple of stores in Germany and the United States and so on You will probably get it somewhere if you get a chance guys try that uh, Hank Maori thing out That's really worth a smoke um, So here's my suggestion give it a try There was the ash <laughs> But man that was uh, like we are in the last third and I was like playing around with it messing with the ash um, doesn't matter good one guys enjoy life enjoy a good cigar uh, we there were so many bad cigars lately so it's 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 fucking fine to have a good one um, most importantly stay safe and stay healthy and I hope to see you around at smoker spot Jason.